Kin went on fire after UGM overpowered Zoo Joint Tax Force. See what they have done in return. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome once again to Biafra Unite Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 16th of March 2022, and I have a clip of video to show you what is happening right now in Okigwe. It is happening live and direct in Okigwe after the phenomenal UGM had overpowered the Zoo Joint Tax Force, comprises Nigerian soldiers, police, DSS, including some prison warders who were patrolling today early morning today in a place called Omololo in Okigwe local government area of Imo State. They were overpowered by the phenomenal UGN. Two officers of prison warders of, uh, you know, uh, uh, Imo State were sent to judgment, while so many other ones sustained very degree uh, bullet injuries and were sent to hospital for treatment while others flee from the bush. So after that incident, this very night, in fact, today, of course, is 16, but as I'm talking to you right now, it's, all, it's almost 17th, it's almost, because it's almost a new day. This is very early morning, 17th, that I'm recording this very news. I'm showing you what is happening live and direct right now in our keyway. After they were overpowered, out of shame and frustration because they were they were they were very 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 ashamed that how comes these people overpowered them having invaded the area with three hillock van parading patrolling everywhere causing panic amongst the people then they were confronted by the phenomenal UGM today this very early morning you know so when they were confronted by the UGM, the UGM, of course, uh, expectedly, expectedly overpowered them, sent two to judgment. Others uh, sustained very degree injury, uh, bullet wounds, while some other ones took uh, Ben Johnson from the bush. So now, do you know what they have to, uh, what they have come to do this very late late night? In fact, let me show you because. I don't want to continue talking while I will keep you waiting. I want to show you the video for you to see. So if in case, if you are listening to this very news and you have, either you are from Okigwe, especially a place called Omololo, or you have people there, you have friends there, kindly, kindly without any hesitation, call them and alert them so that some of them may be able to, you know, to secure anything securable are you getting it now because they knew they couldn't have done this during the daytime they couldn't have set this market ablaze these shops wouldn't have been set ablaze by the zoo soldiers and other security uh, uh, you know joint tax force during the daytime because they knew that the phenomenal ugm will still come out and confront them so what they did is to target night very late at night around 2 p uh, 2 a.m 2 a.m 2 zero zero hour they came and set people's shops ablaze innocent people's shops it is unbelievable it is absolutely unbelievable now i want you to take a very good look at what is happening in okiwe a place called omololo if you have anybody there please kindly in Afia, in Afia, in Are you seeing no help, no person, no help? Hey, it is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. No help. I have a shift to go out. Yeah, I have a motor. No, she has a shift to go out. It is unbelievable. The one I'm in Oki right now. Hey, shame, shame. Jesus, 
This is mechanic village, Bagoko. Mechanic village, yo. Mechanic Go village. Ahead. Mechanic village. This is great shame. This is a very big shame to the zoo soldiers and police. This is a way that, in fact, this is just to show to tell you that they have they have conceded this defeat. They have conceded defeat. Are you getting it? They have conceded defeat. Yes. So it is quite unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate that they they fell in the battlefield and they came back at night to set shops at least. It is unfortunate. It is unbelievable. They have considered defeat. <laughs> are you getting it now? So there are no two ways about it. Because you fell in the battlefield with the phenomena UGF. You came back at night and set innocent people's shops ablaze. This is a, a great shame to a country called Nigeria. It is unbelievable that the military of the country, oh, are they doing this because of course is 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 part of their is their uh, uh, part of their way because they always like to intimidate our people. This is part of their intimidation, intimidating uh, tactics. This is part of their intimidating tactics that they want to use to instill fear into the minds of our people. But of course, it can never stop. The way I, I see these people operate, these people that call themselves UGN, phenomenal UGN, you see these people on the screen, the way I have seen them operated, they cannot stop by a mere intimidation from the zoo, you know, security uh, 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 operatives. They cannot stop. This is, um, in fact, I am sending this very message to the zoo soldiers. It, the earlier you understand that your mere intimidation against our own people cannot stop the phenomena UGM, the better for all of you. The earlier you understand it, the better, because these people, you are setting their houses ablaze, they are shot, they are, you are destroying their source of livelihood. Can, they don't even know the meaning of this UGN. It's, you see this abbreviation we, we are using to, you know, to, 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 to call these people or to qualify these people that call themselves on non-government. The people you are setting their houses are placed. The people you are burning their houses and their shops do not know the meaning of this UGN. They don't know it. People who know the meaning of UGM are all we in the media. We are the ones that gave them that abbreviation name. So the people you are setting their houses and shops ablaze do not know anything about the UGM. So the earlier you understand that setting the shops and houses of innocent people, innocent citizens ablaze cannot stop the UGM, the better for all of you. And the earlier you understand this, and go back to Sokoto or run inside your barracks and never come outside there again, the better for all of you. The earlier you realize this and run to KB to go and battle the original terrorists there, the better for all of you. The earlier you understand this and run to Katsina State, the hometown of the so-called Mr. President, the better for all of you. In fact, people in Zamfara State need your help. What about people in Niger State, very close to federal capital territory, Abuja, stone throw from federal capital? They need your help. They need you there. They need you. What about people in Brono State? Have you sorted their, their, their issues? Have you sorted their issues? Have you, you know, uh, 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 have you brought normalcy in the state of Brono? So the earlier you understand that these people do not know anything about UGM and stop burning their houses and destroying their livelihood, the better for you. And the earlier you go back to the north, for those of you from the Sahel, the better for you. And those of you from the east, or let me say from the south and some part of Middle Belt, the earlier you understand that you are actually putting your life in danger because serving the zoo in any form has already spelled doom to your life and your generation. So the earlier you understand all these things, the better for all of you.
all of you in the un in, in the army police dss uniform including the navy and air force the better for all of you because it's either you die in the hands of the ugm in the south or you die in the hands of terrorists in the north this is only what awaits you in the nearest future and the way i have told you that is how it is thank you my people share this very news and make it go viral